что есть кар, да? The rhinoceros is also one of Africa's big five. We're very lucky today. Eh? <laughs> it's, only, it's also one of Africa's big five. Now the one on the right over there is white rhino. Uh, also present in the park is the black rhino. But black rhino numbers are too low. We have more white rhino in the park than black rhino. Now the reason why they call them black and white is is because basically because of the different shape of the lips because uh, both both of them are, are actually gray in color with the black rhino being slightly just a little bit darker but uh, they, they look almost the same in color now they call them black and white because this one has got a white lip for grazing they eat grass only now the black rhino has got the hooked lip or upper prehensile lip and feeds from the tree now one other obvious difference between the two is that white rhino are bigger in size and the, and the, and the black rhino are smaller also, white rhino is social. Sometimes you find them in groups, but the black rhino is mainly solitary. And uh, white rhino are a bit friendly, black rhino are aggressive. Uh, they are the ones that are most likely to charge. Meanwhile, the black rhino is uh, the white rhino is a bit friendly. Now, both of them are territorial. Territorial means that the animal marks its territory. As in the case of rhino, they use urogenital excretions in the form of dung and urine to mark their territory. Mark the territory, actively defend it. That's why, that, that is how uh, an animal is called territorial. Okay, so that one is white rhino over there. Did you heard why actually, uh, how come to the, to the name white? You know when Africa, the name the animals in Africa, we name them, we name the white one, like you mentioned it, the white mouth, which is in Africans, bit mouthed. Oh yeah. But now the English, they couldn't pronounce bit mounted in them was white. So yeah. they mix up the names and they put in the books as a white white rhino. But it's nothing to do with white. No. It's white. White is a white mount. Bit no. mounted. Powiem wam o co chodzi. I skąd się wzięła pomyłka? Znaczy nie pomyłka, ale jak on tłumaczył. Macie białego i czarnego noszorostwa w tym kraju. Czarny jest mniejszy, bardziej agresywny, ma zaoszczony pysk. Biały, szerszy większy tego tutaj widzicie i skąd się wzięła jego nazwa szerokopyszny Afrykanerzy nazywali y, zwierzęta w Afryce na początku i nazwali go szerokopysznym co po Afrykans brzmi wytmałtet Anglicy, którzy pisali w tym czasie książki nie byli w stanie napisać wytmałtet tylko zrobili z niego white bo jest W na początku ja sobie ten spokojny ale nie chciałbym być w niczyj skórze, jakby to zaczęło biegnąć w waszym kierunku. Trafi ważyć w granicach trzech ton. Could wait about three tons, is it? Yeah, three to four. Trzy yeah. do czterech on mówi. Yeah. Second largest... Uh... Jest to drugie największe zwierzę w buszu afrykańskim. And the elephant, what would you like them for uh, it it's, uh, The elephant would weigh something like... How many milli uh, push you? Rhino, rhino they basically most of the time host to, to different types of parasites. Now, rhino cannot grow like, like baboons. They cannot remove parasites from each other. Now, they depend on the mud to, to get rid of the parasites and sort of add a layer of protection on their skin. Now, the, the, the color of the soil in a particular area uh, may, may determine how the rhino may look. As you can see, that one is white rhino, but it looks darker in color. That's mainly because he took a mud bath in, in dark colored soil. So eventually he looks a bit darker in color. It has got nothing to do with him being black rhino or, or otherwise. Bardzo ciekawe, właśnie w zależności w jakim terenie oni, oni żyją, Nosorożce się kąpią, nie mogą sobie usunąć insektów, tak jak to inne zwierzęta, małpy wydubują sobie insekty z ciała. On, żeby się zabezpieczyć, musi się wykąpać w błocie. I w zależności w jakim błocie się kąpie, taki kolor ma. Tak ten troszeczkę ciemniejszy, nie ma to nic związanego, że to jest czarny czy biały. Po prostu kolor ziemi narzuca kolor jego skóry. Uh, 
Now this is this is what we call Rhino Meden. Uh, this is how they mark the territories. This also you can also call it Rhino Toilet because this is where the territorial rhino will sort of defecate in the same place for a certain period depending on the availability of food. Uh, this is how they mark their territory. They will like sort of defecate in the same place. Rhino Meden, we also call it Rhino Toilet. Is there brown birds there or is there stone on the tree? Why is that? You see there? 